Hey folks, Sam with Badass Slingshots here. Hey, I want to take a second and uh, answer some questions that we've been getting a lot of. Since we've expanded our line and we have so many different models, we're getting a lot of questions of uh, which sling bow is right for me. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of time here. I'm going to explain the difference between my two styles of sling bows, which is the hunter style, which shoots a flat band, and the bow fishing style, which shoot the tube band. And then from there, we'll branch off into some other videos that you can check out that'll go in a little bit more in depth and, and uh, explain them a little bit better. But basically, a couple things that make it really different. We have flat bands, which are way more efficient. You get more foot pounds of energy and you get faster arrow speed and everything out of a flat band than you do a tube. Uh, tubes are a lot more rigid, so when you're bow fishing, you have that rigidity, it's easier to knock an arrow and stuff like that. And, uh, but with a flat band, we are allowed to come up with a system that allows for adjustable draw weight in the field. With two bands, we don't have that. So you're kind of stuck at one draw weight. Um, they'll all shoot bow fishing arrows. They'll all shoot regular arrows. They'll all shoot every bow fishing reel out there whether it be the bottle reels like the AMS or the Cajun uh, the spin cast reels go right down here um, the only thing you have to do is if you're shooting a bottle reel is this bracket comes in either right or left handed if you're shooting a spin cast you don't have to worry about it but uh, they'll basically all my sling bows will do everything a bow can do so that's pretty much where it's at so now which one is right for you if you're going to be doing a lot of target shooting or hunting bigger game or something like that, I would say stick with the hunter style sling bow with the flat bands. Like I said, it's a lot more efficient. It comes with a D loop ready to shoot with uh, with a release aid. Um, it's just a just a really nice setup. It's set up of a where the uh, most of your weight, since we use heavier draw weights, is absorbed right up here in the handle. You don't have this long handle hanging down like you do on this where it tends to to once you get up in them heavy draw weights it'll tend to bend back that is uh, uh that's become a problem in some of the other sling bows i guess but with this one we keep everything up high so it can handle all of that heavier weight um the bow fishing models shoot the tubes you don't have the adjustable draw weight but it does allow you to uh, have the rigidity when you're bow fishing to stick that arrow in. They all come with D, uh, finger saver D loops so you can draw them back with fingers. It's very important I think when bow fishing. I'm a bow fishing guy. Um, so that's where it's at. Basically you can get uh, 20 to 60 pounds draw weight off our hunter. Our, uh, our uh, beast you can go all the way up over 100 pounds of draw weight. Our bow fishing models the Magnum puts you at about 50 and uh, the bow fisher puts you at 30. So now, if you're leaning more towards uh, the bow fishing platform, we'll, we're going to do a video on that, and you can go and check that out, and we'll talk specifically about these two. And if you're leaning more towards the Hunter series, we're going to do another video, and we're going to talk more about these two. So feel free to check them out.